SysMarkTech 1149 and later has a new feature called the Roadmap Marker Diagram that enables you to build a roadmap for any artifact in the architecture. Here I'm going to use it to build a roadmap for System Architect itself. I go to my roadmap marker symbol where I specify a start date and an end date for the roadmap and interval uh, units and numbers. And then I go to select roadmap contents. In this case, I'm going to select an application version. This is using the TOGAF framework, and I'm going to say this is for System Architect 11.4.10. In the definition of this physical application component, I can go to the Roadmap Marker tab and specify time periods. For example, design, build, test, and deploy. For my start and end dates, I can choose dates. For example, let's say we started designing this in May and finish design in June. Choose a roadmap color and select OK. For building it, same thing. Let's say we started in June and developed it through August. I'll choose a roadmap color of blue. And then for testing, again, we're going to start in August, finish in, say, end of August or maybe September. and choose a color, say yellow, and then deploy it. In this case, it's going to be a milestone. So we'll choose, say, 920, and choose that milestone to be black, in which case we have a roadmap for System Arctic 11410. Let's go back into the symbol and look at our roadmap contents and I can click choices and see other artifacts of different types that have roadmaps already in the architecture. In this case, we've already built the roadmap for the documentation for System Architect 11.4.10. And we can add that to our roadmap and see if it all lines up. We color this. And we have our roadmap for System Architect 11.4.10. This feature is available in all the frameworks for System Architect, DODAF2, TOGAF, Archimate, NATO Architecture Framework, Unified Architecture Framework, or Custom Frameworks as well. And you can build a roadmap for any artifact in the repository. And you can adjust colors as you normally would in System Architect. In this case, I'll turn off gradient fills and maybe make it a little lighter. Thanks for watching.